assalamu alaikum practical important questions of human anatomy and physiology one see here i have completed synopsis major minor and viva question and with answer see these questions are very important for your practical examination in hap okay so please watch this video until last maybe this video helps you a lot in hap and also i will give you some of the tricks and tips how to conduct the experiment how to uh, follow the experimental way you can get accurate result there first one let's go for the synopsis in synopsis as usual 2022 question paper is mandatory for you all you have to practice that just a recent 2022 question paper then hemoglobin estimation principle of that then principle of red blood cell count then cranial bones axial and appendicular bones in bones chapter uh, this is very important one okay you just practice that bones chapter the normal blood pressure sugar level then what is the red blood cell rbc count in women men uh, this only normal questions they will ask okay what is the normal sugar level glucose level hmm these all the normal questions they will ask in synopsis and composition of blood yeah this one next uh, let's move towards the major experiment see a major experiment is uh, one of the major experiment is uh, uh, determination of the red blood cell or total number of red blood cell counting of rbc by using thomas slide or newborn slide see very simple first adjust a newborn's counting chamber with microscope see you are seeing here this is the newborn's chamber okay newborn's collecting chamber you have to first what you have to do means you have to set in the microscope then the red blood cell pipette is cleaned and dried by using acetone you have to clean it and dry it then a ring finger is sterilized with water and uh, sterilized with the sorry not water ethanol and prick boldly you have to prick boldly by using the needle then the first drop is discarded and the second drop is sucked in the rbc pipette up to 0.5 see in the rbc pipette you are having 0.5 lavin mark up to 0.5 what you have to do you have to uh, suck the your blood okay into that pipette then immediately the rbc dilution fluid is sucked up to 11 mark then after sucking this 0. Point, up to 0.5 of the blood then after that you go immediately sucking of a dilution rbc dilution fluid up to 11 mark okay 11 mark then the pipette is brought to horizontal position and finger is placed over the knob just what you do you have to uh, uh, scrub that scrub means on you have to keep that in between your palms and just uh, scrub that okay for uh, one for one minute it's enough then what you have to do means so add one drop to surface of the counting chamber allow to settle for 3 minutes see how to add means see this is what is this this is the cover slip cover slip this cover slip should be uh, cover until here see this much okay this gap you have to leave here okay some gap should be left here in that gap what you have to uh, add you have to add one drop of this uh, a uh, di uh, rbc dilution fluid means rbc dilution what is there in your pipette no what you scrub in between the hands no uh, that one drop you have to add here okay after that what happens uh, you have to keep for 3 minutes and just uh, go to the microscope uh, count there okay already your microscope is uh, set at there because you have uh, set it empty you have set it okay so after that uh, you just go and uh, count the rbc in the 16 chamber 16 square smallest square this uh, four you have to repeat 16 16 16 16 in rbc yeah this uh, is for the major experiment now let's discuss some of the minor experiment clotting time is one of the major one clotting time see the ring finger is sterilized and prickled boldly with a needle as soon as the blood comes out the stopwatch is started and capillary tubes just i will explain you uh, briefly see here what you have to do means uh, just a simple one first what you have to do yeah clotting see this uh, in clotting time uh, we have to use the capillary uh, tube okay capillary tube this uh, one is the capillary tube for an example capillary tube okay now in this capillary tube what you have to do you have to suck the blood blood after uh, sucking the blood means after pricking no you have to keep that blood that blood will be rises in the capillary way after that what we have to do my dear brothers and sisters uh, you have to wait for 30 seconds okay uh, repeatedly periodic 30 seconds what you have to do you have to break that 
capillary tube first you wait 30 second break that and you see your blood clots or not then again you wait for 30 second then again you break that uh, capillary tube then you see your blood clots or not again for 30 seconds you break that you see your blood is clot or not how you know that my blood is clots or it uh, it not in clotting state means it form the thread like structure fibrins will become from that uh, capillary tube okay your blood is there no from that fibrins will be arises so if the fibrins came means you understand that it's uh, understood that uh, the blood is uh, clot this is the simple experiment report you have to write down for 50 for 60 second my blood clots for 50 second my blood clots for 80 second my blood clots like this way clear uh, next one uh, bleeding time see bleeding time is very simple just you have to take on filter paper prickle in your uh, uh, ring finger with the help of the which one mm. needle just what you do you just uh, add one one drop to your which one filter paper that what paper you have given no you make a four to five holes there you write zero second then 30 second 60 second 60 second 90 second okay you have to make an interval of 30 second after that what you do you just add like uh, this is the finger here once here once here once now see where the blood stops attaching to that paper means no uh, marking of the blood on the paper that seems that your blood is that's your bleeding time okay the cessation time from the blood oozing and blood stop that's known as bleeding time okay cessation time c e w s a t i one cessation time okay the, maybe the pronunciation is wrong cessation 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 i think so okay means the blood coming out from that to stopping that is known as bleed bleeding time hmm next one is hemoglobin estimation it is also very important maybe this experiment maybe also ask for some colleges for a major experiment here what you have to do means see this is the hemoglobin estimation meter okay or compartment comparator hemoglobin estimation comparator simple just i will explain you very simple you take one here this one is the text tube here they will keep here inside this it is a, you have to remove this one take outside this one this one okay it looks like this you add until 0 0.2 or until 2 gram or 2 gram of the n by 10 hcl this hcl you have to add here okay till here after or 2 gram or 2 ml then what you have to do means uh, you have to you have to keep that inside this one compartment remember my words after that you take the hemoglobin estimation meter means that only uh, pipette no uh, rb red blood cell pipette you take that pipette and suck the blood until the mark uh, 11 sorry 20 centimeter up to the mark 20 cent 20 centimeter you will break that then what you do you just directly with the help of the pipette expel the blood what you have uh, filled in the pipette no in this one which one in this one here dilution tube you have to expel that all with the help of the pipette after that what you have to do means uh, you have to keep inside this uh, compartment and just go on adding the water okay you have to shake that uh, means with the help of the stirrer share with the help of the stirrer what you have to do means uh, you have to uh, dissolve that okay and uh, you have uh, gone adding the water after addition of the water what happens here two constant tubes you are observing now that uh, constant tubes uh, okay what you have kept in left and right side uh, now what you kept in the middle now the dilution tube what happens it matches with this left and right side of the tube of the compartment okay this yellow color yellow color by adding water no go on adding water you will be matched there okay after that you have to take the reading of that means approximately 13 14 gram 13 gram okay 15 gram 15 it's last 13 in between 12 to 15 you will get the reading report write it down 12 gram hemoglobin uh, okay normal is a 12 to 13 gram it's a normal hemoglobin in the human body normal human body 
yes this is the minor experiment see very simple one very very simple one just i have explained you and viva questions just in these only they will ask the viva question what is the normal hemoglobin count what is the normal rbc count red blood cell seven what is the shape of the rbc biconcave shape okay these normal common questions they will ask in the viva this is the bleeding time hemoglobin estimation minor experiment clotting time the major experiment is a newborn so uh, by using newborn slide uh, counting of red blood cell okay but nowadays these are not necessary and necessary we are practicing with the help of the technologies many bold technologies have been arise, arrived here many 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 computerized testing is present in now a days so this type of uh, ancient techniques are not using but what to do university is running in the ancient way so just uh, we have to go through like that way so my suggestion is uh, to utilize the computerized uh, testing they are giving the whole like wbc rbc okay every testing means every uh, estimation estimated value you can get through the computerized testing so this is the uh, really vast process but in olden days these are preferables yes practical these are the important questions if you are new to the channel subscribe my channel let join pharmacy thank you assalam alaikum